Hello, I'm Matt Vecchio. You're here watching Your Best Dish. We're here in Tuscarora Mill Kitchen, celebrating their 25th anniversary soon. We're here today with Patrick, executive chef. Patrick, what are you making for us today? Uh, today we are doing fried oysters, a uh, favorite here and very distinctive. Uh, we're also doing our seafood salad, and we're also doing uh, my take on chicken and waffles. And instead of doing chicken, I'm doing duck. I really want to uh, up the ante on doing the, uh, the classic southern dish of chicken and waffles and by using duck and foie gras and uh, a local elderberry syrup made by uh, the vineyard, uh, vineyard winery up in Waterford. Uh, right now, what we have right over here, thank you very much, is, uh, is our seafood salad that we do. It's very distinctive. Uh, it's very fresh. It's made with uh, uh, seared rare tuna, ahi tuna. Oh, you can't see it. There we go. Seared rare ahi tuna, mangoes, avocado, with uh, tomatoes and crab and shrimp. Uh, what really makes it is the uh, little curry oil that we drizzle over the top that gives us some visible flavor and uh, finishes off what I consider to be a flavor trifecta. Um, a favorite that we do here, it's very distinctive and it's very fresh. It looks very good. Excellent. Uh, over here, we have is uh, fried oysters. Uh, these are our, my take on fried oysters. Uh, we have a very distinctive way of doing fried oysters that you actually could do at home. Uh, it's not a typical cornbread frying method. Uh, we do a, a very light tempura fry. Uh, it's on a bed of uh, king spinach with a little bit of uh, curry aioli over the top. Again, but I, I love curry because it's such great, strong flavors. Uh, a little black lava salt that you might be able to procure. You don't need to use it. You can use, always use curry, uh, kosher salt. And a little fresh lemon over the top. After a quick demonstration of the duck and waffles and an unscheduled visit by the basil farmer they affectionately title the Basilmeister, it was time to give the great looking culinary trifecta a taste. Well, in that case, uh, one thing left to do. Let's start eating. <laughs> Very good. Like my favorite part. Yeah, nothing like eating like that. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That sauce is really good. That sauce is mm -hmm. really good. What kind of sauce is that again? It's a curry, sweet curry aioli. Not sweet curry mayo to be exact. Um, it's curry, honey, curry, and mayonnaise and lemon juice. And uh, it just makes it. Yeah. <laughs> it really does. For mango, shrimp, uh, avocado, and it's Yeah, a little bit of everything. Because eventually you'll get to have it all at the same time. But uh, you'll see what I mean by having it. All right. Okay. Big bite here. Okay. Mmm. Mm. The initial reaction when you put it in your mouth is very fresh. Right. Very fresh, yes. Everything about it. I mean, you know, every bite has something more going. flavor. Right. It unlocks a new. And this is, it may look like a big salad, but it eats really easily because it's not a dense meal. All right. Mm. Mm. Wow. You're right, those waffles are very, very flavorful. And they're and very you said you, you have some kind of cheese in them? Mm. Excuse me. <laughs> we fold up the batter. Uh, it's got flour, eggs, um, egg whites, cheese, um, Asiago cheese we use in this particular case, and uh, roasted garlic. Uh, puree, it's a puree that we add to it, and uh, some fresh basil, and it's all intertwined in there. And uh, the, the waffle itself is just wonderfully light. Uh, it's not, you know, most waffles that you've ever had are often sweet, but this is a savory. I wanted a savory waffle for this particular dish, um, and I thought I think we came up with a pretty good one. That's cool. Yeah. Alright Patrick, so this has been your best dish. I've been your host Matt Vecchio. Thanks Matt, for having us today. Thank you very much. And uh, great job. Oh, thank you. See you next week.